Hi, it's Tina from The Crafty Traveler. This is part four of my series for my granddaughter's jeans. Um, you'll have to excuse my voice. I'm not feeling very well. I've been sick here for the last, I don't know, it feels like a week now. Um, but I'm so tired of just sitting around feeling blah. I'm trying to make myself do a little bit of something here. So the, the uh, bleach came out uh, really good. Um, as you can see, it's not too crazy. It's just light, light, lightened up here and there. So, um, like I said, it's a learning curve. So at least next time I know how much um, bleach if I want to do more. Probably next time I'll do a little bit more. <clears throat> and instead of pinning um, my flowers and material down, I've actually been using this fabric no sew fabric glue and when you uh, wash it it will go out um, in the washing machine so uh, it won't be on there permanently because uh, I figure anything that's going to help the process speed it up along all the more the better so this is uh, the front of it and then as you can see when you open up the legs here is where um, I put the patchwork in I have yet to sew uh, like I said, I haven't been feeling good, so uh, probably won't get it to today because what a uh, little bit I've done today, um, I just get tired easy. So I, I wouldn't doubt if I had COVID myself uh, as I've never felt like this before. So here we go, huh? or, or the flu or one or the other. Uh, here's the back so far, and then what I'm going to do is i've let me place these over here sorry for the movement but i didn't uh want to freak trying to move uh prop my camera up and as you're going to see from the previous uh part three my head <laughs> wasn't in the picture and i didn't realize it until of course until it was all done and um but you know what i'm learning and to me, it didn't matter if my face was in there. It was the process of making the jeans that um, is the whole reason for me doing this. So um, don't be afraid if you are trying to post something online, on YouTube, for other people to see. Don't be afraid that, oh God, it isn't top quality. It isn't that uh, great of a footage. Um, to me, I'm like, you know what? I, I'm doing what I'm doing and people can watch it or they don't, right? Okay, so this is what I have for the BU, which I'm loving. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew and then I wanna like come out so many stitches and go like around, make like a shadow or a shape. What do they call that? I don't think it's called shadow. I'll think of it. Um, later it's a quilting term where you'd go along with the line of the of whatever pattern you're going around anyways i want to do like maybe three different uh outlining and then cut in between hopefully uh it will fray and it'll make these pop out even more and then i'll cut off the extra fabric all the way around so that's for the back and then i have these flowers here, yet to throw on. I'll throw them on here and there. Um, it's quite a few different ones that I cut out individually. And then I'll show you really quick of how I'm doing this with the fabric glue. I'm gonna do it one-handed, so bear with me. So I wanna do something like a little flower here. Get it laid out. And that's gonna bounce in a little bit. This is so fun, you know. Um, if you're watching me and you think, oh, I could never do that, yeah, you can. It's uh, it's easy and it's fun and it's great to try to use your imagination and what you want to do. So all I do is flip it glue time here to run down and I don't put a lot on 
I just put like two or three dots depending on what I got here going on and then I just press it down and I'm going to do the next one so you don't out you don't need a, a lot on it's just uh hold it in place so when you go to sew but I did start out with the pens and I hate sticking myself and going through jeans is not an easy thing to pin through. So I'm like, oh, okay, I know I have fabric glue. And this is the first time me using the fabric glue as well. So I'm putting it to the test. And I've been working on this, what, the last, I don't know, three or four days. I'll do a little bit, and then I just got to stop for the day. Plus, I'm like, you know, doing regular house chores, trying to stay up on top of dishes, all that stuff. So, I'll uh, be glad when I start feeling good, because it's getting pretty outside, warming up a little bit. For here for Maine. So that is it right there. Isn't that cool? Like I said, this is it's just fun. You know, whether they I hope you know, I hope she likes them. But um it's just fun to use your own imagination come up with your own design now on here i'm still gonna add something i don't know i was going to put that flower over on here but then it looked better over, over there so i just got to figure out what to do with that one and then that's it uh, i think that's all i gotta share with you for now so until next time enjoy the journey and get out there and just just do it don't worry about what mistakes you make or whatever. It's just all a learning process. Have a good day.